Hello everybody, Phil here from iPodTouchBaller.com. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys that um, application switcher that I kind of showed in my last video. I said this would be my next video. Well, this is that video. Um, here it is. It's called Doc, available in Cydia. So in order to install it, just go into Cydia. And I'm just going to let it load everything and be totally done loading before I touch anything else. This is my third time trying to shoot this video, and each time I kind of interrupted it as it was loading and stuff. And it crashed on me every time. Alright, here we go. And what you want to go, and uh, the, the source you will need should already be in there. And it is STE Packaging. I don't know if you can really read that. Hold on. There you go. STE packaging, the first iPhone iPod Touch repository. Um, it should already be in there, but if not, uh, it's repo.xmxy.org slash cydia slash apt. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Then go to search. Or, wait, don't go into search, okay? Go into sections, all packages, D and scroll down to dark to dock sorry there it is dock you can read that a quick application quick app switching this is how it's called <coughs> and just install it install and confirm and just let it run there. And restart springboard. And just let it respring. It's going to take a while, of course, I already explained that in my last video. It does take a while for this thing to spring, but, yeah. Alright, and now that it's up, well, now that we can unlock it and everything, what do you can do? Well, we'll just unlock it. <laughs> I don't know why I went into that, but, um... <clears throat> and uh, you will have this icon called Doc Press. That's how you can change all your preferences and everything. But it should halfway already be configured. And you can switch apps when they go like that. But just go into Doc Press. Oops. And you can enable Doc in the first place. You can show the line glow, I have those two. Enable speed dial and show hidden apps, I have those off. Um, the left sunburst and the right sunburst act differently. And by that they mean like if you were to go like this, not from the middle. Whoops, I actually really did it. <laughs> like that or like this. Oops. Like what categories would those two be? Um, this one's set on utilities, and I think the other one is set on recent. Yeah, the other one's on recent apps. And of course, you can change that if you want the left one to be like App Store and the right one to be Media. You can do that. Um, you could also categorize those apps. Let's say I have a bunch of them that are uncategorized right here. You'd be able to put those in the right categories by clicking on it. And clicking which category. See Zippo Lighter, that's an App Store app. Um, and just keep going like that. <clears throat> and you can also do all the other stuff. And to apply changes, you will need to restart the springboard. But I didn't really make those that many great changes. So if you go from this side, 
It'll do whatever that one was set for. I think mine's recent. Apps. Oops. Once again. <laughs> uh, this side, I'm pretty sure, is set for um, App Store. Yep, that's App Store Apps. And it opened up Abby Krabby. I will have a review on that on my other channel soon. Abby Krabby. Good, great game, you guys. And um, if you go up from here, you have all your different categories you just set up. And you can just go upward, and it shows all of the apps in that category. So if I wanted to open Beehive I Am, I just go to where Beehive is, and let go. And then open up Beehive I Am. Uh, that's simple, you guys. It's called Doc once again. It's a great, great, um, <clears throat> great little app. And uh, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, like I did my last video, my next video will be on how to watch TV from your iPhone or iPod Touch. This um, will not need to be jailbroken at all for this. And um, yeah, also a little side note from my last video, I showed you how to get the five columns and the five icon dock. And as you can see, there's four icons in the dock. I still have it set up. Two five icon dock. It's just the theme I was previously on did not look right with the fifth icon. So I'm actually going to fix that right now. And um, I also, since then, got the five eye rows. See, one, two, three, four, five. And um, it also really looks right. And you can fit the most amount of apps on any page. Because now you can hit get five by five, 25 apps per page, plus another five on the dock so that's pretty great you guys and uh... <clears throat> yeah so comment rate subscribe and i'll start i'll see you guys in my next uh... video on how to watch tv on your iphone or ipod touch via internet or what most likely wi-fi comment rate subscribe and i'll see you guys later